Okay, quick little tutorial here in Inkscape about text. Along the left hand side, I'm going to click this text icon and I'm going to then drag my cursor along and I'm going to make, say, the word text. I'm going to type in the word text with the keyboard. Now from here, when I click the little arrow button on the top left, this now becomes my design. I can stretch it. I can make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to click Control Z to undo that. And I can hold down the Control key and that locks in the aspect ratio and I can make it as large or as small as I want. So very easy to make a large text design. So I'm going to have that be my large text design right there. Okay, now let's make this an outline. So how do we do that? So down on the bottom left, there's a fill button and there's a stroke button. So I'm going to click the fill button and that's going to populate a little arrow here along the left hand side. It's a triangle and the triangle is pointing with a little arrow along the right hand side. So I want to change the fill. Okay, so I'm here on fill and stroke on the right hand side. There's a fill button, a stroke button and a stroke style button. I'm on the fill button. So now I'm going to just simply move wherever I want in this triangle. I can make it light, I can make it dark, I can make it white, I can make it black, whatever I like. So I'm going to make it nice bright purple. Okay, so that's the fill button. You'll notice along the lower left as I'm changing this, the fill buttons now become purple. Now I'm going to click the stroke button and you'll see now my little arrows have changed and I'm now in the stroke paint tab, which is this middle tab. Now, this is where things can get confusing. I'm going to move this little arrow, but you'll notice nothing's changing in the text. Huh, so what's going on there? Well, this trick is on along the third tab, the stroke style. Right now my width is zero. So when I make my width not zero, when I make it larger, you'll see just like magic, now the stroke, which is the outline, is now becoming apparent. So I'm going to go back into stroke style. I'm going to click the stroke button along the bottom left. My little arrow will pop up and now I can simply make this whatever color I want. Okay, so let's say I want to have a black design. So I'm going to click fill purple, make it black. And then I want to have stroke being bright purple. So I'm going to click stroke and I'm going to move that now to be purple. Okay, we're in business. Now here's the third part. Let's say I want to remove the black and just have the purple. So how do I do that? Okay, so what I want to do is click the fill button. First, I'm going to click my design, click the fill button. So now I'm in the fill tab. And here's what you don't want to do. You'd think you'd want to just change the opacity down on the bottom right. But when I change the opacity down on the bottom right, the whole thing disappears. No, no, I don't want that. Okay, bring back the opacity up to 100. That didn't work. What you want to do instead to simply get rid of the black is this alpha channel right there. When I remove the alpha channel, that removes just the black and it just leaves the purple. So then I'll click the purple down on the bottom left and I can make my stroke style even fatter if I want. And that's a nice bright purple design that I could put on a t-shirt or a coffee mug or anything else that I want to make. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. Nice, easy way that you can get into some really cool looking text designs using free Inkscape. Thanks a lot for watching everybody and happy designing.